Welcome back to Anton Math, and in this video I want to talk about a special kind of equivalence relation that we talked about in the last uh, video um, called the congruence modulo n. Now some of you have probably heard this term congruence before. Well, let's take a look. The relation congruence modulo n on the integers, where n is a natural number, is a relation denoted and defined by, we read this a congruent to b mod n, and this is defined by n divides a minus b. So a is congruent to b mod n, or a satisfies this congruence relation with b, if n is a divisor of a minus b, the difference between a and b. Now I want to make a claim here. I want to claim that the congruence relation, as I've defined it here, is an equivalence relation on the integers z. Now, as we talked about in the last video, for a relation to be an equivalence relation, it needs to be all three symmetric, reflexive, and transitive. So let's just go ahead and go through and we'll check if this is going to be true. So if I have n divides a minus a, well, for any a, this is going to be 0. So n does, in fact, divide a minus a. So this is for every a in the integers. And this is the requirement that we need that congruence is reflexive. Right? For any uh, element in the integers, that element is going to be congruent to itself mod n, no matter what n is. Now if I have that n divides a minus b, right? so n divides the difference, well, then it's also go have, it also has to be true then that n divides b minus a, right? This is just a difference between two values. So if n divides that, it definitely divides the negative value. So let's say that you know a is 15, b is 5, and n is 2. Well, 15 minus 5 is 10, and 2 divides 10, and 5 minus 15 is just negative 10. So if 2 divides 10, then 2 must divide negative 10 as well, right? a minus b and b minus a are just negative values of the same number. So this is a symmetric relation. Now all that's left is transitive. So I need to show that if n divides a minus b and n divides b minus c, I need to show that n divides a minus c. That's going to show that this is transitive, right? This is saying that a is congruent to b and b is congruent to c. And if this is going to be transitive if this means that a is congruent to c. That's what we mean by transitive. Now it's going to take a little bit to get there, but if I have this given, then that implies that a minus b is equal to some multiple of n, right? n's a divisor, so a minus b must be equal to n times something else. And b minus c is equal to another product of n, we'll say mn. And this is for uh, k and m. These are some integer, right? This is what it means to be a divisor. So with this in mind, this means that my a minus c This is going to be equal to a minus b plus b minus c, right? We see that a minus b plus b minus c are b's cancel, so this is a minus c on both sides. But a minus b is equal to kn, and b minus c is equal to mn. So a minus c then is equal to k plus m n. Well, if a minus c is equal to this um, product where one of the factors is n, that means that n divides a minus c by definition. Right? This implies that n divides a minus c. So in fact we do have that this congruence is transitive. Right? So the congruence module n is reflexive, it's symmetric, and it's transitive, so congruence modulo n is an equivalence relation on z. 
Now when we're talking about congruence, congruence is a special kind of equivalence relation. So for any A and Z, when we talk about the equivalence class A, we're often going to call this the congruence class of A instead of equivalence class. And of course it's going to be a congruence class uh, with the respective modulus. So congruence class modulo M. So we'll use this terminology when we talk about a congruence class opposed to just a general equivalence class of some other equivalence relation. Now in the next video I'm going to give a couple of examples, uh, more examples of checking whether something's an equivalence relation and then also an example uh, using this congruence equivalence relation. And We'll see you there.